Hello, this is Dr. Mark Miravalli. I'm here in Ireland with Anne Le Apostle. We are going through Volume 2, Conversations with the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus. I'd like to read you the September 3rd, 2003 message, followed by a commentary by Anne. These are the words of our Lord Jesus, and I quote, I want to talk to souls about love of neighbor. My children, people are precious. Each and every person on this earth is of infinite value to me and to my heavenly plan. But often the value is overlooked because of a worldly view of life. If I have placed a person on your earth, I intend that the person be adequately fed. You must proceed from that assumption. Dear little soul, so earnestly trying to serve me, if you know of a soul who is not fed, perhaps I intended that you feed that person, and that is why I reveal that person's plight to you. Be thoughtfully considerate when you hear of a person or a group of people who are hungry. Then ask me what it is I am asking that you do in this matter. Perhaps I am merely looking for prayers. Perhaps I am making you aware of the great blessings that have been bestowed upon you. Or perhaps I am asking that you share in your wealth and support my workers who are attempting to feed these souls. Again, perhaps I am asking you to be one of those souls who ministers directly to unfortunates, who lack the barest necessities for human existence. You have a role. You must ask me to reveal it to you so that souls on earth are not housed in bodies that cannot develop because they lack food. I see every need of every soul on earth. It is my intention that children serve each other and in this way achieve holiness. Many are starving today in your world. My children, this is yet another symptom of an age of disobedience a time in which more souls defy me than serve me. I do not want people starving. Ask me what you can do. Children, I want you to think of the person you like least in this world. You have many reasons for disliking this person. You have been hurt, possibly, and it is difficult to forget that pain. Perhaps you fear that person would hurt you again if you were to attempt reconciliation. I am asking you, though, to love your neighbor. Jesus, you ask, what do you want from me? I tell you, my child, that I fear for your spiritual development if you are harboring bitterness, whatever its source. Because bitterness often originates from another soul, I want you to examine any bitterness in your heart closely. If indeed you do, and you can identify this person who has caused you harm, I want you to spend this day praying for that individual. My child, ask me to have mercy on this person. My just wrath is a terrible thing to behold, and you would not like it to be directed at you. Therefore, you must also seek to spare others this destiny. Love of neighbor delights me. Mercy and compassion given freely to others delights me. Forgiveness. I need not even tell you about the happiness that comes to me when I see souls offering forgiveness to each other. Understand, little souls, that I place people in your path with an intention and with a hope, a heavenly hope. Do not be quick to run from a soul simply because they do not please you. Consider my will and be certain to ask me if I have a heavenly task for you with regards to each person. It is in this way I will bring love to each soul through love of neighbor. And your comments. Well, hmm. I think we all kind of have to read that message and look for instruction because love of neighbor can be difficult. But from, let's start at the beginning. We'll end up at the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus says, first of all, the, the whole beginning, love of neighbor, he says people are precious. And... Um, they're important to him, so they have to be important to us. He comes down very hard on the starving thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus, now that, since that was recorded, the humanitarian issues in the world have expanded in, diff, you know, they've grown worse. Yeah. So we have to hear that very, very poignantly. 
Now he says, uh, we, he says, now you might say to yourself, what should I do? The Lord says, first of all, pray. Mm -hmm. Pray for these people. Secondly, be aware of all the blessings you have if you're not starving. Thirdly, sh possibly share in your wealth if you have the ability mm -hmm. or the means. Um, fourthly, possibly he wants us to minister directly to some people who are struggling. And then he says, for sure, for sure you have a role to play. And he says, I'll reveal it to you. Sometimes people panic. Oh, what can I do about their four? Mm -hmm. You know, there's no need for that. Jesus will make it clear if he has an instruction. Mm -hmm. um, he's, the Lord says that the starvation of people is a symptom of the age of disobedience, and it's so sad. Um, now, the, you know, what I find um, very important in this is Jesus says, think of the person you like the least. This is somebody who's bugging you. Mm -hmm. Maybe who's hurt you. Um, the Lord says, maybe you're harboring bitterness in your heart for this person. And he says, I need you to examine this. But this is Jesus, the divine healer, always mm -hmm. working for us. For us. He knows, if unless he gets this right, you know, cleaned up and healed, we'll be crippled and handicapped in our ability to execute his will. So, so the Lord here is directly dealing with our own personal woundedness, and we mm -hmm. need to pay heed to this. Now he says, um, pray for that person for a whole day. Ask me for mercy. What I found, when I pray, start praying for one of my enemies, and you know, we all have these. The enemy could be the person, you know, at the bus stop. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But when I take it on as an intention, I can't help it. Love grows. Right. When I say, Jesus, right. please bless this person, heal this person, give this person grace to illuminate their soul, mm -hmm. and um, that, that will bring the healing. Um, Jesus says, love of neighbor delights me. Compassion for others, perhaps who have hurt us, mm -hmm. delights me. Um, forgiveness delights him. The Lord has given us a serious, he says, okay, um, don't be quick to run from people who don't please you. Mm -hmm. Now, poor Jesus he has to say this to us, you know, because we would, anyone can love the people who love them back. Right, right. But even the, the progression, um, who would start a treatment of love of neighbor with the hungry? I mean, I typically mm -hmm. it's, it's not that way. So he goes mm -hmm. to really this need, saying we all have some role in mm -hmm. that. And sometimes there's a tendency to even make judgments. Well, this country is poor because they, they, they don't cooperate, right? And this mm -hmm. is free of any judgment. Mm -hmm. This is, mm -hmm. it is our responsibility. Mm -hmm. And then we go internal in, in a way really incredible in that mm -hmm. go to the person you like the least mm -hmm. and, and then pray for them. Mm -hmm. And then he glorifies um, this, this reconciliation, mm -hmm. how much he wants it quickly. You know, it's the blessed are the peacemakers. Mm -hmm. it, it, it touches his heart. So it's, it's such a sequence of, of, outside inside mm -hmm. love of neighbor mm -hmm. and, and and really winding up with uh, praying for people that could be the hardest person for mm -hmm. us to, to and pray isn't for it us. true he says okay here's the big picture and then he says and, and so if you think of starving people in Ethiopia you might say well you know whoo I don't have a role to play there other than send some money to an aid or then he goes down whoom, and now let's talk about you exactly let's talk about the stretching that needs to be done in your soul okay. so it's really a, a process of um, a world scene, mm -hmm. an individual scene, mm -hmm. forgiveness, uh, and then he always ends with, you know, you know, consider my will and be certain to ask me if I have a heavenly task for you with mm -hmm. regard to each person. Mm -hmm. he, it's always Jesus, the personalist at the end, mm -hmm. from the world to the person right in front of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Ann. Mm -hmm.